Hello, Jen here, back with a layout for the Stretch the Sketch series. That's the sketch that we're using this month. Oh, here I'm going to show it to you one more time. Um, I love grid sketches. I really do. I don't do grid layouts enough, um, but they are the perfect way to get a bunch of patterns onto your, your layout, a bunch of photos, lots of the kind of random little bits of ephemera and things that you might struggle to use elsewhere. Um, grids are kind of the perfect place to use them because you have little, little pockets of area to embellish or, um, you know, just little sections. So I was pretty excited to, to do this sketch this month and I decided to do it as a two page layout because um, the last few times I had done Traveler's Notebook pages, but as you can see, I have a few little pictures that I needed to scrap, and it's nice to get them all scrapped in one one layout. So this was this was perfect timing. Um, these pictures come from the trip that we took last summer to Seattle. So my son and I went on the big Ferris wheel. My daughter is terrified of heights, so there was no way she was getting on there. And my other son, he wasn't quite sure about it. And so my youngest was like, you and me, mom, let's go do it. So um, he had a blast. And for some reason, we ended up going around like four extra times. I don't know what was happening down down below while we were on there, but we, we got a few extra rounds of the Ferris wheel, so I snapped a ton of photos. Um, yeah, and this was just a kind of a nice way to give um, a little overview of the different sites and things that we saw. So I'm following the sketch. Up to this point, I'm kind of following it pretty, pretty closely. I have that centerpiece. Uh, I toyed a little bit with doing one page with that center strip of paper going horizontal and the other one vertical, but I'm just going to stick to the sketch and go completely horizontal across both papers. Um, and this is the photo play collection that just came out. I think, is it called Fancy Free? I showed it at the beginning. And before I did this voiceover, I reminded myself to look and see what it was called. And I didn't actually do that. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I did show it at the beginning. It's really cute and kind of just a fun, summery, um, fairly, I don't know, is all encompass encompassing the right word? It has a little bit of everything. It has some kind of quirky little motifs like the closed eye that's winking at you. Um, and it has some more traditional ones like the birds and things like that. So it kind of has a little bit of everything. And I just like how summery the papers are. I didn't, I don't have the whole collection. I only have a few pieces. Uh, I picked up a couple weeks ago at the paper and ink boutique, but I, I just liked how these pieces gave that kind of just general fun summery day. I really like that paper that's that dark green with the birds on it. Um, I'm not going to use it in this layout so I kind of put it away because I don't want to even be tempted to use it until I'm ready. <laughs> um, but that yellow one's really nice because it has little suns on it or I guess you could probably consider them little flowers too. And then the orange is just that really nice pop of orange with, with flowers on it. And of course the cutter part sheet, those are great for grid layouts. So I did cut two of the cards out. Um, I only end up using one of them, but grid Grid layouts are always a great way if you have even project life cards or anything like that that you've been kind of hoarding until you have the right design to be able to use them. Incorporating them into your, your grid is, is a great way to get them used up. So um, I definitely knew that I was going to try and at least get two on there. I only get one, but that's okay because the other one will end up in the project life page that goes with this layout. And then the backside is that really nice kind of light blue and mint, I guess you could say. Um, so I thought that that was a really nice contrast to the yellow and orange and just kind of 
it helps to give the the feel that the sketch has of sort of a big block where the grid takes place because I'm not actually going to follow that part of the sketch. All of my um, very loose grid <laughs> takes place on the yellow, but when you look at that sketch, you really get the, 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 um, what's the word I'm looking for? Just the way that they've done the grid is a big kind of square in the center of the paper. And so I kind of wanted to give my layout that feel and break up a little bit of the white space because, um, it just felt like it was a little bit too much across two pages. So I just looked for cards that I I figured I probably wouldn't use and cut those. Um, so I still have a, a few left over and that bird card definitely makes it on the layout. But the other one doesn't. I just like the other one because I thought it was kind of a little bit like a pun, right? Because we're up at the top of the, the Ferris wheel but I'll put it in the Project Life page, so it'll still make it in there. So this is my general kind of design that I'm gonna go with. I've put my pictures down, and now I'm just gonna fill in the spaces with some stickers, and I'm gonna put in some puffy stickers, and it's not, I guess, I wouldn't call this a traditional grid, I didn't measure everything out. It's not all kind of placed neatly and equally. Um, but it, it still gives you the feeling of a grid. And it's definitely, I mean, you can see how much stuff I end up getting onto this layout. Um, pictures and just ephemera. It's a great way to, to use a whole bunch of stuff up. This, these stickers actually come from Pink Fresh. Um, I don't remember what their collection is called, but their new travel collection that they came out with this year, the colors actually match perfectly with the photo play paper. So um, it, it kind of worked out nice because obviously the pictures are about travels that we took too. So I'm just pulling out a few little things, anything that I thought could kind of fit into the spaces and fill in some of the gaps and match the colors. So, so there's some of these stickers, and they're kind of they're kind of like a paper sticker, um, but just a little bit thicker, I guess you could say. So that kind of gives a different texture than than the sticker sheet from Photoplay, which is your typical glossy sticker. And then I also have some puffy stickers from that same collection. So I was able to pop some of those on there too. So I got three different textures in my embellishments. In a second, I'm gonna realize I, I didn't buy the ephemera packs for either one of those collections. And that probably would have been a good way to uh, use up some ephemera too, but that's okay. I added tags because there are tags in the sketch and sometimes when I diverge from a sketch and I'm not doing exactly um, what the sketch kind of calls for, I still like to get in as many of the different little elements of the sketch as possible. So that was kind of a, a way for me to do that. I have these cute little tags. I think I probably... I don't remember. I think they might have been a package of a hundred. There's a lot of them. Um, and I just got those at Walmart for like two dollars and they're the perfect tiny little tags that fit um, in all of those cute little spots. So I use these a lot in Project Life. And then I got that little bunting and some more of the stickers. My son had so much fun on that Ferris wheel. <laughs> like he loved it. He really did. It was kind of neat. It's the first time I think that he's ever been on, um, I don't want to call it like an adult ride, but just a ride that big. He's done a couple of roller coasters that are, you know, a little bit more for his age, but he's never really gone on anything quite that big before. So he was pretty excited. 
And when you walk through, uh, right before you kind of get in line to step on, they have a little bar where you can get drinks. And so he thought it was super cool that he got a drink and that we were just kind of hanging out together, the two of us. So he really enjoyed it. So I realized that this page, the second page, the pictures don't stretch quite as far because they're not horizontal. The pictures are actually all vertical. So there's more pictures on the page, but they don't take up as much space. So I needed to fill in the gap right here. So I took that big banner and there was a bird on it. And so I thought that kind of actually worked out well that the birds kind of bookend the two pages. And then just to kind of give your eye a start and a stop, I took the, the floral um, off of the sticker sheet and cut it in half. And so I put that beside each of the little birds. So it kind of, I don't know, it just, it contains everything, I guess you could say. Now the last thing to do is just put a few little embellishments. I grabbed the second floral. I think I might have left a couple on that sticker sheet, but there was another little floral that I cut in half too. And because the sketch has um, a little embellishment cluster up at the top, I'm going to put one up at the top on the right hand side and one down at the bottom on the left hand page. And then that kind of balances the whole page out. So I cut that floral in half and that's why you can see that down, down at the bottom. The other half is up at the top on the other page. And so here is um, another little border that I punched. I really had to dig deep for those punches. Oh my goodness. I don't really use them very often and um, I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself that I actually had one that is a scallop, to be honest. Um, and kind of three that could have worked. There was this scallop, which I thought was nice and subtle, and so that's why I picked it. The other one's more of, um, almost looks like fish scales or like a, a mermaid's tail. But I felt like it didn't, when I cut it out, it didn't really, um, it is weight the right word it didn't have the right weight uh it's very kind of airy and just the lines of the scallop and then the other one is more of like a <laughs> sorry my husband's opening up the door right beside me the other one was more of like a parentheses i guess you could say so um i could have used that one but i went for this scallop so I'm just going to make these top and bottom little clusters match. And I'm just trying to get a little bit of the paper and a couple of stickers and um, just pull off anything that I either had two of or in the case of these stickers with the labels where I can cut them in half so that there can be a little bit on both sides. So the orange paper kind of represents the orange and then I pulled off a yellow label and one of the labels that's it's kind of in between the two colors of blue on that paper. So um, not quite blue, but not quite that darker color. Um, kind of, I don't know, just, just something in between. So now my little clusters have all the colors represented. And then I thought I was done. But then I remembered at the beginning of the video, I had shown that I was going to use these chipboard stickers and I really want to. I've pulled them out and I have them sitting right beside me and a lot of the colors actually work really well. There's that kind of orangey color and there's some of the light pink, which you see in some of the flowers and in the little bird. Um, there's the two different blues, kind of like that light blue and one that's more of a teal. So yeah, there were just a lot of things that worked. Um, so I was able to pull off some hearts and a couple little embellishments and just tried to spread them out. And then while I was doing that, I um, ended up going through a little kind of 
pack of random ephemera that I had and I found some wood veneers so I thought okay why not and I threw some wood veneer on there and then I found these enamel dots that come from um, I think it's Echo Park yeah Echo Park had that um, Alice in Wonderland collection last year and I have just a little chunk of the um, enamel dots that came in one of my Secret Not Secret Kit Club kits. And so I threw those on there. And then I kind of felt like there was just, I don't know, there was something missing. It was done, but it just looked so clean and so linear. And yeah, I don't know. I, I can't describe it, but um, in that same little you can kind of see it off to the side actually there's like a mint green and a pink little container I found this ribbon and that also came from a secret not secret kit club and I thought you know what I'm gonna go ahead and use it and I think it looks perfect it's exactly what my layout was missing I think I don't know why I don't know what it is about that particular um, spot or or that particular embellishment that suddenly made me feel like the layout came together but it did so i'm just going to finish up with these two sp um, spray mists sorry i stumbled on my words there uh, from H heidi swap one is sea foam and the other is teal and that's it i'm all done this layout um thank you so so much for watching i really appreciate it uh thank you for <laughs> your patience with me losing my voice, I haven't been feeling very well, so um, my voice has been a little bit scratchy, but I made it through the voiceover, and I really, really appreciate that you guys tagged along for the whole thing. If you have any questions, leave them for me down below, and be sure to check out all the links for all the other ladies who participated this month, because you never know what kind of amazing ways that they're going to stretch the sketch. Thanks so much. Happy scrapping. Bye.